So when I was 14 years old, I had exhausted all of the literature available for young adults or young people, uh, and I was allowed to read in the adult level of the library. And I have a very distinct memory of picking up Alice Walker's uh, In Search of Our, My Mother's Gardens, which is a collection of her essays. It was published in the mid 80s. So I was probably uh, 14 when I picked it up. And I remember reading it, just walking to my bus stop, going home, and then walking from the bus stop to my house, reading these essays and discovering this world of literature of authors that I'd never read before heard of before, County Cullen, Langston Hughes, Zora Neale Hurston, uh, who Walker was actually instrumental in resurrecting and bringing to the attention of uh, late 20th century readers. Um, and that instilled in me a sense of the importance of the written word and that whenever I did my own research, whenever I found out about someone I had never heard before, especially when it came to doing work on Caribbean women's uh, literature, that I wanted to be writing back to that 14-year-old that I once was and the 14-year-olds that would come up behind me to make sure that I was leaving a record of what I found. And that's what most of my early academic work has been about, is writing back to uh, my younger self and young scholars coming up who might have difficulty finding those works, but also to make sure that they know that that literature exists. And so Walker's text, uh, you know, signaled to me that it was important to do this kind of work, not just one's uh, imaginary work or creative work, which I also do, but to leave traces of who has gone before. Um, and so I have also found in, um, in my recent past when I've given talks that other scholars, younger scholars and writers have told me that they have found some of my books on their bookshelves in a small village or town in Puerto Rico, for example, um, and with, without my knowledge that they had come across those books, and now they're doing their own work in their own fields and, and uh, doing that kind of archival building. Um, so I know it works, and uh, if Walker had not written her book, and who was she to have known that a 14-year-old would find that book in Winnipeg, Manitoba, which is where I lived at the time, uh, when I was born in Haiti uh, 14 years before, who would know, who would have thought that I would even have learned English and come across that book when French is my first language? Um, and that would have opened up an entire world to me.